3D printers are amazing. Amazingly simple. The magic is actually in the software that controls these components. The rest is just decade-old components such as stepper motors and heated nozzles. A 3D printer extrudes a plastic like a glue gun does, but with a very tiny layer. You can 3D print out any shape, but the bummer is, the surface texture isn't all that impressive. You can see each layer that was printed giving it a wicker basket look. In this video, we're going to learn how to polish the plastic without damaging or overheating it, causing it to deform. The method we will use is called cold acetone vapor polishing. Let's get to it. First, let's get a 3D object to print. I'm going to print the Saxe Award from Team Fortress 2. I found a great one on Thingiverse.com. Thingiverse is a great source of all printable objects. I opened my file with the 3D printer software. Then I set a brim for the base to help it successfully print. I also added support so that the overhangs would not sag or separate as it printed. This software is basic in that it will provide you a preview of the brim and supports before you commit to print it. This one took a while to print, so we started it and went to bed. We are going to vapor polish our 3D print we made last night. It came out almost perfectly today, although we did have to glue the feet back onto the body. All of the streaks and lines on here are from our 3D printer just printing it out and going around in circles to form up into this. And we are going to polish those out to where it looks nice and smooth. We're going to polish it using the method of cold acetone vapor polishing. First, let's get our safety going. That's better. Right now, I'm going to pour a nail polish in over, which is 100% acetone. There are many ways to expose the part to acetone vapor. We made our own rig to do it. It's just a rice cooker. We boil the acetone and put it in the path of the vapor. We don't want it to heat the plastic. Just let the vapor come in contact with the surface. Heating the plastic would result in melting and causing it to sag. So, we keep the part far enough away that this won't happen. Since acetone is a solvent of ABS plastic and acetone is coming into contact with every surface molecule, the surface smooths out, resulting in a glass-like polish. So today, we learned how to chemically polish 3D parts. We learned that acetone is a great solvent for ABS plastic and 3D printed parts. And it is important that it will not overheat, causing it to sag. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more fun projects and inspiration. So today, we learned how to... <laughs> I'm spinning a chair. So today, we learned how to chemically pop...